Hello, friends. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die with your host, Wrong of the Bold. So I just finished looting the um, the second apartment building. Oops, where did I come out? And um, how did I get in this one? Anyway, I finished the second building. There we go. And got all my paper set up, etc. Spent the night in the apartment building because I feel it's quieter than trying to do it outside. All right, so where are we? Oh, I got that happening. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and go up to the edge just to see if there's any, if there's any other buildings. Because what I'm looking for is a born and noble. That would be that would make me really oh freaking good morning cop to you too <laughs> that was a lot of noise wasn't it i'm not carrying any of that crap with me oh do you guys know I, i'm assuming you guys know you can scrap bullets and you actually get um brass for every five bullets so, yeah, so far we've got uh, 9 and 37, paper-wise. It's kind of funny, I haven't done this a pure looting in quite a while, so it's been kind of entertaining. Now, I did make a change. I want to see if this actually happens. Yep, yeah, 45 paper for him now. Boink. Door be gone. Now, I haven't got as much paper as I really would have would have wanted to have, but I will take what I have gotten. Copy you. So basically, all the books and I, I switched it so all the books and uh, things like that. I'll give I'll give forty five paper when you scrap them. You can cut the other there and then go up to the top. I don't feel like don't feel like it. Now this is horde day tonight. They're just creepy. Uh, might as well. Might as well. Ooh, fire out there. And when in Rome. Dang it. It's like I'm in a city or something. Now, can I have a moment of peace, please? Please? Everyone? Alright. Um, what else? Oh, I was going to eat that. And... Alright. I've been, uh playing quite a bit with my little brother and sister, kind of getting them used to the game, and uh, it's, 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 always, it's always fun rediscovering the game through somebody else's eyes. They're, they're, they were playing their own world without zombies, and I, God, we're, we're playing, doing puppies and kittens. Puppies and kittens. Nice, easy, low, low spawn, easy difficulty. Are you, not, you don't want me now? Am I not tasty enough for you? I 
I shall take all of you. Thank you. Brass always handy. Oh, that's what I was going to scrap. You guys know there's a there's a large uh, safe down there, but again, oh, given how crappy safes are and their yield. All right, two of what I call the governor's mansions. No, I don't want the. I don't want you. I'll take that though. This used to not be able. Used to, used to not be able to get in there. They must have shrank it down a little bit. So yeah, today we're gonna just loot and explore and gather paper. And look around for the edge of the city. Okay. So this is the edge. Uh, we'll stomp him make stomper 10. Alright, let's just bail out of here. Yes, brass. Now you guys know I do modify the weights. I, I there's a, I had a mod for uh, or I made a well, I modified the weight of the, of the radiators because I, in my opinion, getting four scrap iron, uh, scrap brass off of an entire radiator was a little low. So now you get uh, forty. Now we gotta make books. Oof, just got it. Ah. All right, so south it is. very interesting to see what the backstory is. I mean, were there were there nukes set off? Because there's a lot of there had to be a lot of damage. Ooh, that's a nice chainsaw. I mean, I don't really use chainsaws much, but that's a nice chainsaw. That's worth uh, that's worth picking up, I think. Yeah. I was like, wait, what the hell is that? And then I realized it's a deer on top of a tree. Because, you know, like you do. He's like, what? Deer's climb trees. Don't judge. Oh, that's, that's actually better than mine. If I wanted a nice stone axe, that would have been a nice stone axe. Alright, 
Look. Well, let's cut back over to the outside edge. Alright, so there's the ones we checked out. Oh. Wait, dog? No, that's not a dog. That's a pig flavored dog. Another set of calipers? Sure. Yeah, lumberjacks are freaking awesome for loot. Yeah, I was just thinking as well while I was reloading the shotgun that it would be nice if the pimps broke the animation for that so that it was one shell for a reload, but then you actually had the, it, it looped the animation for the number of shells that you needed to actually replace. So it would take longer to. Uh, reload a full eight shots it would certainly make things a bit more um, challenging in those tense encounters I like that idea Go copper hey copper Bleeding out, you bastard. So I didn't bring any freaking... I did not bring any uh, antibiotics with me. So I'm about to get some. Perhaps for this young lady. Something. I. A little too close to her. No, bad zombie. I just want to check that I didn't grab any of those, um, uh, I mean, any, any oh, pff, I got honey. There we go. Oh, I got a magnum as well that I started putting together. So that, that there is nice. Hold on. Man, I am looking forward to the new prefabs they got coming for A14. I played one season with uh, in Navis game with. Uh, how's your quality? You're not as good as this one. I'll tell you that much. Um, I played one season with uh, the compo pack, and it was so nice to have all that prefab variety. I'm really hoping that that gets updated quickly for A14. <laughs> And I might use it for, uh, definitely use it on the server, and might use it for, uh, I don't know, family creep, family pack, or family creep, uh, but, yeah, family, uh, playthrough. And you guys have probably picked up on it, but the Broken Ankle Gang is pretty much gone. Uh, things just fell apart. Go away. As usual, it comes down to it comes down to time for everybody. Everyone's got a you know, regular full life, and then their own YouTube channel schedule, and then plus trying to get this and schedule. And it usually ends up being just too much. So, once again, we went bye bye. I think I'm going to stop trying. <laughs>
Edge of City. Now, did we discover the... Yeah, we did discover the edge over there. Whoa! That was in your face. Alright, so that's it. Uh... There wasn't as much more city as that. It wasn't. Yeah, there wasn't that much more of the city than I had already discovered. Well, oh, sir. You guys in your plaid work shirts. Well, it's good and bad. I mean, it's good because we're not going to spend too much time. Too much time exploring around. But I'd like to get a feel for what's south of here. So I, what I think I'll do for the rest of this episode is we'll go back to our bike. Go back to the bike uh, and then head south and just explore the area a little bit. See if there's another town or anything just up there. Just for some more looting possibilities. And then we left the bike in the box here. Bike in the box. A whole bunch of gas in it because um, reasons. All right, so let's. Right, hopefully, the noise will stop quickly, and it did. Now I noticed there was a road. I really wish you could bring that back up now. There's a road there. Um, and I didn't check the very far corner. So there's a road at the bottom, looks like. And a road there. That one, we can pretty much figure is going to connect. Well, it's not going to connect there, but it's going to connect somewhere. But this one back here might be the one to, the one to go for. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's what I should have done. I should have put the rest of the stuff back in the bike. So I would have had uh, a full... Eh. I would have had to go back to that box. Uh, in fact, I'll be right back. Alright, I ran back and picked up uh, my supplies. So we don't have to go back. We don't have to go back to there again. We can go around. If I so choose... I kind of wanted to build a snow biome this time, but I never found one that was big enough. I kind of wish that they will, they would uh, reduce the biome size a bit for uh, A14. I may just, if they don't do it, I may do it. Oop, and now Desert. That's a really, that's a nice transition. I like the transition. I think they've done a really good job of, uh, I, I like it. I like it! I've been trying to learn and understand procedural terrain generation in Unity. Um, with, with not voxel terrain. It's a stat with meshes. Uh, I'm not learning very quickly. I'm not very smart. Oh, hello. Oh, 
Yep, town. Huh, I wonder what that did to the uh, bunker. Huh? is going to fall down. Yeah, I hope we are that. So not a town per se. So I just started watching, or not just started, I just finished watching this show called uh, The Amazing Johnsons, or, yeah, The Amaz Amazing, Amazing, Amazing Johnsons, I think Amazing Johnsons, uh, it's a New Zealand show about a family who are all the living incarnations of Norse gods, but the gods have, basically their powers have waned dramatically um, since they're having to hide amongst the humans and you know, conceal the power It was really good. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the heck out of it. You know, I don't think I've... S have I seen this movie before? It's one of the starter homes, but I don't think... I honestly don't think I've ever been in here before. Yeah, it's new. I think it's new. If not, it's. I wonder which one's got the. I'm looking for any kind of gap, like right there. Where are you? I saw you a second there. There you are. You little bastard. Of course, with my pick, it would have taken me less time to... It would have taken less time to go ahead and just uh, go through it. Oh, come on! Yeah. Thanks for your water. Anyway, if you guys like, uh, I don't know, it's a comedy, it's, all, uh, it's a three seasons, 36 episodes, and it is, uh, oh, I like it, it's nice, nice little homely home. Are you breaking stuff, sir, sir, sir? So I bet that will connect up to that, and I can get back home. Let me just head west. So anyway, yeah, I recommend Amazing Johnson's on Netflix. Uh, it's it's a light comedy, uh, and uh, acting is yeah, it's good. It's alright. But the story is, it's just really fun. It's a its a nice new interpretation of things, you know, not to have to have the same old, same old. And 
and uh, you know, Norse gods playing around with minimal powers is kind of entertaining. And they actually wrap it really up. I hate it when shows get cancelled or whatever, and they don't wrap things up, and you're kind of left a little bit wanting. But this show, it must have been a planned, it must have been a planned exit. Because they, they wrap things up very nicely. I don't know in Australia or New Zealand if shows are the kind of different in the never ending in America. Where, you know, you might have a seven to eight hundred seasons. Or if they actually have ends. Alright, yep, perfect. Alright guys, uh, so I'm gonna finish heading home. Uh, when I get there, I uh, will pick back up with the build. Uh, I've got a decent amount of paper, which is what my goal was to get. Um, I, I would like to have more than, like, I got, like, 12, 13 books worth. But, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, that'll give me more TNT, more dynamite. And we can do more splodings. Oh, what's over there? Oh, okay. Not a safe place to live out here in the desert. Hey, chicken. All right, anyway, for now, it's been Wrong the Bold. If you guys are enjoying, click that like button. Let me know in the... Oh, I ran out of gas. Let me know in the, um, in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.